Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Zach, you're watching Wet That Line. Yeah! One last picture. First gap, baby! Tommy came up with a great idea. Yeah. Woo! Hell yeah! In this episode, I'm gonna go over two spots I recently went fishing, show you the catches out there, then we'll come back over here, I'll show you how to set up a dropper loop, and then I'll talk about some of the uh, announcements that I wanna say for this next year. Uh, season two for Wet That Line, I uh, have a lot of plans, and then after that, I'll show you guys a lost video from the first season that I never put out, and uh, it's a nice little trailer for going out on the sport boats, and it's super action-packed, but stay tuned until the end, and. Uh, Let's get over to the rocks in Redondo. That's the first spot, and I'll see you guys out there. I've been going up now, see the top going down. If you didn't know now, I know you know now. That's cause she could go on top. You not really top. You keep saying top. Well, I guess she let the top down. Oh, that's a boat leaving the harbor right there. So far, been just getting nibbles on the uh, dropper loop. As you can see, it's pretty dark out here. Yeah, I got something. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, guys. I'm gonna get down. I don't wanna get too far down, though. Here I get. Eee, baby. Whee! Hell yeah. Cool rock fish. Let me get back up here, though. Hell yeah. I don't think it's a sculpting. Although it might be a sculpin. Actually, is that a sculpin? No, I don't think that's a sculpin. Uh, that's a rockfish, right? What do y'all think that is right there? Oh, that's cool. But I want to catch way more, so let's get more. A little rockfish. What is that, calico? With a big old sculpin. Another, another, it's gotta be a sculpin, man. They look like rockfish, but I'm treating them like sculpin. One, one false judgment, and I'm getting stung. I don't believe, I don't wanna do that. But hey, what do you guys think these are? Are they rockfish or are they sculpin? I know sculpin's a type of rockfish. They look like chuckleheads, though. There it goes. The sculpin. The first ones weren't sculpins. See, this one right here, guys, is poisonous. So I don't mess with these ones, man. See, and they flop around and stuff. I'm not messing around with you, buddy. If I get stung out here because of you. Oh, Well, that's lobster food right there. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Oh, I definitely didn't mean to snag you, brother. Let's get your funny butt back in the water. Wouldn't have thought I would have gotten one of these. Get him back in the water. We don't want those. So that was fun, but I didn't want to just make that its own episode, and so I went over to Huntington Beach Pier. Something might be playing with it down there. Well, you're not allowed to catch crabs like that, but we caught a crab. Checking it out, huh? Back again. Got this dang old seagull flew right into the cast. Oh no. Well, we're gonna have to get a seagull undone here, aren't we? Oh man, oh man. Come on, man. Alright, alright. 
Hold on, Neil. Yeah. Hold on. Put yourself here. You have a clipper? Yeah. If I could save it all, though, it'd be nice. It's almost done. There we go. Oh my god, not in the line again. I thought he flew in the line again. All right, guys. Well, we had a crab biting on this, so I'm going to replace it um, and uh, throw it back out. If you guys want to see the episode where I got stung by one of these bad boys, hit the link at the top. But, and if you see way down here, their stingers way at the tip. So when they're swinging, they got some good reach to get you. Send them back. All right. Ooh, I'm really feeling something. Yeah, nice banjo. setting up this uh, dropper loop right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a weight you're gonna end up doing between six or 16 ounce I mean you I've heard stories of people dropping pounds of weights down but you're gonna put it down at the bottom of your uh, your line here you do a lot of different knots this is just a basic fisherman's knot um, if you guys need me to do a video on that let me know but we're just gonna attach it to the bottom of the weight look just like that Okay. All right guys, so depending on how high up you want this knot to be, you're going to start at different heights and depending on how big of a circle loop that you do, it'll be sticking out uh, that, uh, that distance. So it's up to you, but uh, if you were out in the sport boats, you'd be doing about three feet and then five feet and you don't need very much. If you're just going for rockfish, you could literally just have about that much, just, you know, eight inches worth. But what you do is you loop it around. I put my pinkies in and I hold it and you'll see one side has two, the other side has one. You're just going to start twisting these. And I do it five times, three, four, five. And the big key is to keep everything in line. So we're going to reach right down and through. And then I put it in my mouth and I just hold everything straight. Just like that. And you cinch it down. But now that you have this loop, all you'll do, take like a mustad hook, just like this one right here. We're going to put it just through the eye. You have this little loop. You put the hook through it, pull it tight. And now when it's sitting out in the current, it'll be sitting out there just like this with your squid or your anchovy and you get hit every time. All right, guys. So pretty much the announcements for this, for this year is I have a, I've gotten a few vouchers to go out of the 55 birth on the El Dorado. So I plan on doing a few trips there. There's a sponsored trip in June that I'd like to do. I'd like to go out on uh, uh, some jet skis. I heard about a thing going out on jet skis over by Palos Verdes and, and fishing out there. Um, so I, I would love to be able to get to do that as well. Um, I want to be able to go out on uh, the lakes with like uh, Nick Young, shout out to you, and Lake Havasu. Um, it'd be great to go out there and do that. Maybe some bow fishing with or fishing Havasu on Facebook. Um, but uh, so. Uh, it hit the like and the subscribe or, and you guys will be able to come along with me. That's pretty much all of the announcements So and this is the uh, uh, The video that was lost that I didn't put out last year. It's nice to go into uh, the, the this new season here coming up in spring um, and uh, Going out on these boats and this will be a little bit of that for you guys now and uh, until next time. Let's go with that line <laughs>